when a major season of breakthrough is about to open up in your life the first thing that happens is that there is an unusual impartation of the spirit of prayer an unusual impartation of the spirit of prayer whenever you begin to sense an irresistible urge to pray an irresistible urge to pray not just to pray with in a group know that these are prophetic signposts these are languages in the spirit that are pointing to you that you are about to step into a major season of breakthrough and i will explain to you why these things happen spirit of prayer how many of you have sat down and suddenly you cannot tell it's not like you are not prayerful but maybe over a period of three or four days or one week you cannot rest you are praying every time you are partnering with what is happening in the realm of the spirit you may not even know but because you have yielded yourself to the holy spirit the holy spirit must not always speak to you his ultimate um desire is to lead you not just to speak to you that your body comes to a point where even without speaking to you you can permit him to carry out what the bible says the holy ghost drove jesus to the wilderness he didn't say jesus let's go jesus's body was so yielded to the holy ghost that he just found himself moving at the impulse of the holy spirit and the bible says the wind bloweth where it listeth you cannot tell where it's coming or where it's going such is one who is led of the spirit so every time you are about to step into prophetic seasons of breakthrough you know what a breakthrough is a breakthrough is when the barrier that is limiting you from stepping into the next level of your life is about to be lifted or is lifted that's a breakthrough when there is a stronghold when there is a mountain when there is a limitation when there is a resistance that would not allow you to push through to that next level of life in destiny by whatever spiritual agency when that barrier is lifted we call it a breakthrough so number one what the spirit of prayer suddenly you see someone who may not even pray for an hour but you find out that there is grace to pray grace to pray while you're praying it's like there's an endless supply while you're praying you can sense in the spirit that things are happening you cannot tell what it is that is happening but you know that the more you press your prayer is doing something and is having an effect in your spirit directly sometimes you begin to pray and you get to a point in your spirit where you can even start laughing i'm not talking of laughing in the spirit joy that you cannot explain because a chord is being hit in the spirit but many people when they get to that point because they do not know the significance of that dimension of prayer they do not partner with the angels to bring in complete breakthroughs and they go back and miss out on cycles and seasons of breakthrough that would have come are you getting blessed number two when you are about to enter a prophetic season of breakthrough in your life the second thing that happens is an unusual grace to give an unusual grace to give an unusual grace when you are about to step into those prophetic seasons suddenly you lose value of everything around you you just know that i can give anything and it won't matter again when that begins to happen to you take note have you gotten to a point where you sit down and just look at your clothes and you can carry about 20 or 30 percent of them and just say i'm going to sew it and i tell you there is a dissociation between you and those things is because you are about to step into a new level you see how many of you have missed out on such seasons because you did not know how to take advantage if you could take advantage of it you would have stepped into major seasons of breakthroughs this that i'm teaching you is born out of the word of god and practical experiences hallelujah there are many of you who can just be walking and the next thing god tells you go for a retreat quick you are supposed to travel god just summons you and says go for a retreat the moment that happens make sure nothing is too important to make you cancel that appointment hallelujah 
Because that's not just your normal prayer for spiritual growth. It is a call to contend with the things in the heavens so that you will step into a prophetic season in your life. So number one, the spirit of prayer. An unusual urge to pray, to travel in the spirit. You just find yourself blessing the Lord. Manda kratosa talabakaya. You are sleeping in the night and God wakes you. That sleep cannot come back again. And you are just praying in the spirit. That's a sign that a door is about to open for you in the spirit. But many of you wake up and when you see your colleague sleeping, just say, Kai, let me just 15 minutes exactly. By the grace of God, I won't add 15 minutes. You even put one leg down on your bed so that you can wake up. And you wake up and see that it's 6 o'clock. And you see, the Holy Spirit does not struggle with the human spirit. Are you listening to me? Because it's not a demon. The moment he begins to communicate to you, it's a language in the spirit. He's telling you, watch this. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Can you stand? So that you will step into this major season. Hallelujah. Number two, an unusual urge to give. Not just, I'm not just talking of giving money alone, but suddenly you get to the point where nothing that you have is like a string that connects the things that you have and you is suddenly broken away from your life. And you know at that point, if God asks you to empty your bank account or if God asks you to give anything, you can lose it including your family members it's not like you don't love them i'm just giving you languages in the spirit you know that there's nothing nothing and you find out that you know that by the kind of songs you sing in your place of prayer you begin to sing songs of surrender and commitment you don't even know why you are singing those songs have they ever raised a song for you and you know this is not the song that communicates what god is saying it's not bad but mm -mm, this is not the song hallelujah when you step in church and they just sing a song, we can sing a powerful song like um, more of you, more of you. It's nice, but it doesn't strike a chord in your spirit. And even you, you think you are backsliding. No, no. You just sit down. You are not, you are not connecting. You are even feeling guilty about it. You are wondering why you are not connecting. Hallelujah. Then suddenly they raise another song. I lay it all down again. And you start crying. You don't even know what is happening. It's a reaction to a season that your spirit is relating with. The moment they begin to sing that song, anything that has to do with laying it down, forgetting about it, you know, your spirit picks it up and that's the song you're just singing. May not make sense to you, but you are getting into defining moments that will open up prophetic seasons of breakthrough are you getting blessed tonight number three when you are about to step into major seasons of breakthrough i mean major seasons number three there will be an unusual confrontation from the kingdom of darkness suddenly you notice that is as if all hell is breaking loose over you as if the satan i mean the devil just told all the demons said look just leave everybody chase with me find with me anywhere you see her look for her hallelujah have you seen people like that so it looks like the more they are praying for you the issue is getting worse hold on that's the time to begin to see from the realm of the spirit because many people are taught to judge these things. Do you know why? You see, Satan does not know your future. But the moment a prophetic word is uttered, what happens? There is an unusual manifestation of angelic activities. Suddenly, it sends a signal in the realm of the spirit. What? Because they know that Satan knows. He was an angel before, I hope you know. So he knows that every time there is an unusual dispatch of angels, something is about to be translated from the realm of the spirit into this realm hallelujah and suddenly confrontations from the power of darkness they begin to bring arrows of discouragement impatience
patience, procrastination, offense. Suddenly you find out that a major season is about to enter your family and your father and mother are quarreling for trivial issues. Why did you bring the tea in this green cup? Is this the cup I use every day? And you are wondering, you are like, Daddy, what is this whole thing? If you learn to judge from the spirit, you see why you start by unusual ability to pray because there will be contentions. Are you getting blessed tonight? Suddenly, you are just getting offended with people for reasons they cannot tell. Someone looks at you and says, Beautiful hair, you say, hey, Mock me. Even you, you are finding what is wrong. People say you are being so edgy, you are being offensive. What is wrong? Say, even me, I don't know what is happening. But God is telling you, go and pray because you are stepping into prophetic moments. Are you listening to me? The powers of darkness are finding access points that they can step into your life and on legal grounds hinder what God wants to do. Are you seeing why praise is a tool for victory? You see why God will give you? Are you seeing that? This is why sometimes when breakthroughs are about to come, God will distract you with praise. So that before you realize the breakthrough can come. So you lock yourself and you are just dancing in it. You don't even know why you are dancing. Because with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation. Many people have lost it at this point. Suddenly you find out that everybody is just offending you. You are about to go and pray. You are sensing in your spirit. And somebody comes and says, let me tell you something. Selina, um, I wouldn't have told you, but let me tell you. Do you know what your sister said? And you are like, what again? These are dangerous seeds that, that will stop you from entering prophetic moments of your life. Hallelujah. Or you are about to go and pray and then a call comes. And your mother says, do you know what happened? There was an accident. Ah -ah. In your dreams, you are seeing your family members rejoicing. You haven't seen them cutting cake. In the physical, you are hearing that one car has. At such times, many people just dampen their spirits. The Bible says, for as long as the hands of Moses kept it, it was up. What happened? There was victory. When Aaron and her were tired and they began to bring the hand, what happened? How can a man's hand control the victory that is happening in a war front? Many people do not understand spiritual pathways. And I'm telling you, the more you have this knowledge, the more you will reign in life. Unusual confrontations. In fact, for some of you, they may even be direct confrontations. You're just walking and for the first time you hear a voice saying you will die. You will die. And you carry that mindset. It's a seed that the devil wants to sow into your life. That's the day you got up and found out that your shirts that they eye on your roommate wore and say, hey, God, let me kill somebody today. Where is she? Prophetic moments. Notice that the moment that season is aborted, all those disturbances just minimize and you can live your normal life. Are you, are you?